Good morning, guys. How you doing? My name is Itumele Moirana. I'm from Lesotho. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, guys, look, uh, we're going to talk about what's happening with Solega Mandela. You know, guys, what is happening to her is very heartbreaking. And it is, oh my God, the dog is barking outside. I hope it is not disturbing. Yeah, yeah, listen, guys. Um, I'm a soft, I'm very emotional, you know. When things like this do happen, they make you think. As a mom, as a single mom of two young kids, it comes to you, it hits you hard. Like, he will turn that, that woman's pain into yours and you reflect, you wonder, my God, if it was me, what would I have done? What could I be doing right now so that I survive and I try to, to live for these kids? What will happen to my kids? You know, like, ladies, I'm sure you do understand that what is happening to these women is very, very sad. It's very heartbreaking. Every damn time we, we walk out of the door, going to work or any other place, you're always afraid of not coming back to your kids. Every time you step out of the building, you pray to God that you make it back home. Because why? You want to live. And you don't just want to live for yourself. You want to live for the little ones that you brought into this world. So imagine if the sickness just hits you. Especially the sickness that you've been trying to, to defeat for the longest time. I'm very sure you yourself will have no will to live anymore. You've been through this first time. You beat it. It took all your strength, all your belief, all your faith, and you fought you won. You even have a, a life, you forget about things, you try to move on, then it comes back. Where are you going to gather, gather, gather another strength to fight off that thing? I mean, I am defeated. On behalf of Solega Mandela, I'm taking that pain. I'm, I'm, you know, when you we we living like we living here, you don't know what I'm dealing with. Uh, Solega might be dealing with cancer. You don't know what I'm dealing with. We're dealing with different uh, situations, different diseases that we don't even disclose. So when this happens, you're like, oh my god. If mine comes to this stage or at this point, what will I do? How will I face this? How will I fight this? How will I uh, prepare my kids? How do I prepare myself? How do I prepare myself and get ready to, to fight or to, to make a decision not to fight anymore and get ready to die? I mean, you try to spend a lot of time, lot of time with your kids. Maybe spend as much time with them. You assure them how much you love them. You prepare them uh, for the hardships and everything that happens to this world. You tell them to to gather the strength from God every time. Then they will wonder why the same God you want us to believe in is not. Uh, it is not coming through for you right now. Like so many things. My gosh. Tell me, my people, if it was you, how would you be handling the situation right now? I'm very sure most of us are going through that, especially single women, because they don't know who their kids will be left with in this world. You know that the daddy is not in the picture. Maybe the only hope you have is your sisters, and the sisters are married, having their own families. Some of our family members we are not even close with. So I just wonder, my God, if I have to deal with this situation, who will take care of my kids? Especially if they're not old enough to take care of themselves. Tell me, how will you be handling the situation? Let's put uh, Zolega Mandela in our prayers. Thank you, my people, for watching up until next time. Love you.